Hello, my name is Simone White, and I am an LPCC trainee presently studying at Prescott College in Prescott, Arizona. And I have about 10 years of experience teaching mindfulness and yoga-based interventions to at-risk and detained youth. And I would like to present a proposal for a professional development training that's designed to teach trauma-sensitive mindfulness and yoga interventions to the direct care staff of juvenile detention facilities. Um, a really extensive body of evidence exists to support the use of yoga and mindfulness to address trauma-related mental health issues. And adjudicated youth have statistically uh, very high levels of exposure to trauma. And the rehabilitation of a lot of these kids may be aided by implementing interventions that are going to target those trauma-related mental health issues. So um, meditation and yoga are tangible skills that can be taught uh, by direct care staff to youth um, to, improve in, to improve such skills as self-regulation and stress reduction and even impulse control. And this is all um, validated by a fairly extensive body of evidence, um, including work done specifically uh, in these domains with at-risk and incarcerated youth. Um, evidence suggests that intervention programs that uh, really integrate the staff of facilities um, and consider the unique needs of each facility are going to be more effective than, um, you know, kind of one-size-fits-all approaches. So this is why this program really looks to collaborate directly with administrators and direct care staff to kind of optimize the interventions in such a way as to make them um, just a better fit for the organization itself and so that it fits into the daily structure and system of care delivery that happens in the facility. Um, so really what we're doing here is rather than bringing um, outside contractors in to teach yoga and meditation to the youth, which is what typically happens, um, what, what we're talking about doing here is um, teaching these skills and interventions directly to the staff who work with these kids so that um, they can be really integrated into the work at the facility. Um, <clears throat> further considerations with respect to all of this are um, some financial considerations. When an organization hires um, outside contractors and pays them to come in repeatedly over the course of time, um, this actually represents a much greater cost to the facility than doing a one-time training program of their own staff, that, who they already have. Um, this training program would be approximately 40 hours and would take place over the course of two weekends. It would include um, an some educational consultation regarding um, trauma and its effects on um, adjudicated and at-risk youth, and um, then some further development of uh, mindfulness skills for the uh, staff themselves. And the staff would also engage um, in a training program in which they, they learn and help um, collaborate in the development of unique mindfulness interventions and yoga interventions that can be used in their own facilities to um, really help mitigate the effects of trauma, stress, reactivity, and impulse control that a lot of these kids are dealing with. Um, so the hope here is that we can create a um, collaboration between facilities facilities and consultants that allows for um, a deeper systemic integration of, of mindfulness and yoga in, into the facilities themselves so that um, outside contractors are no longer necessary and that these methods can just become a part of the system of daily care uh, for the youth who could really benefit from such interventions. Thank you so much for your time, 
and hope to be speaking to you soon.